Compared with other livestock such as sheep, goats, and cattle, pigs are sensitive animals requiring a higher level of management. However, when farmed properly, they can yield a better financial return because of their breeding rate, and piglets in a good litter, and a feed-to-meat conversion ratio that is far better than that of other livestock. They are also market-ready far sooner. A pig farmer has two options, intensive or free-range. In the former, pigs are kept in a high-density, close housing system. In free-range farming, they are run in smallish camps, foraging on feed crops such as oats, barley, lucerne, and even grass. Both systems have their advantages and disadvantages, but the novice pig farmer must also consider other factors before taking the plunge. Plenty of water. Do you have a reliable supply of clean, cool water available? Water is often called the forgotten nutrient, and an unreliable supply can lead to serious loss in productivity, disease, and even mortality. A young, growing pig requires up to 10 liter of water a day, while an adult pig can drink 25 liter to 50 liter a day. To keep up to 20 pigs, you need a 2500 liter tank or larger. Keep at least two days water in reserve in case something goes wrong with the pump and repairs have to be made. To breed or not, do you plan to breed pigs? or to buy young pigs, wieners to grow out, and sell. It is better to start with wieners, grow them out, and sell them a few times before attempting to breed them. This will give you experience and an indication of cost. You will also get to understand pigs better and be better able to develop management protocols. Your management skills should be sound when you start breeding, as this process is far more complicated and difficult than rearing pigs. Infrastructure, disease, and overcrowding. Pigs are strong animals but are easily stressed by factors such as insufficient feed and water, and severe weather if not housed properly. This will decrease productivity, leading to losses. Pigs need solidly built infrastructure including housing, water troughs, and fencing. Poor management can lead to disease that can quickly destroy your pig farming enterprise. Pigs are susceptible to several diseases such as diarrhea, particularly in intensive farming systems where crowding may be a problem. Feed. What feed will you use? Will it be pig's wool or leftovers from restaurants or supermarkets? Pigs grow more slowly on this imbalanced diet. Or will you feed pigs a commercial balanced pig ration, which is more expensive? Before buying your first pigs, make sure you can afford to vaccinate and feed them until they are market ready. Good genetics. Buy good pigs. Never purchase pigs just because they are cheap. Poorly bred pigs may carry disease, be genetically inferior, or take longer to grow to marketable size. They may also have poor body conformation or a poor meat-to-fat ratio. The market may not be satisfied with such pork, and this will affect your good name as a supplier. Do your homework. Other factors to consider include providing enough shade in a free-range setup. Pigs are susceptible to sunburn, access to straw or sawdust for bedding, and a reliable market for the pigs. Do you have transport available to take the pigs to the market? Do you have enough time for daily tasks such as feeding, cleaning, and care? Do you see your pig operation as a long-term hobby, or one you plan to grow into a full-time business? My advice is to first buy a few wieners to grow to adult to see if you have a feel for pig farming. This will also help you decide whether to farm intensively or free-range. It's important to ensure, however, that your facilities are suitable before the pigs arrive on your farm. So that's it for today. If you like this video then please hit the like and subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching.